time has finally arrived. Number nine, Notre Dame, beginning a brand new season with Florida State. And one player jumped off the charts in this one. Fighting Irish fans, Jack Cohn is legit. Early on in the first, Cohn sits and finds tight end Michael Meyer wide open. And it's a piece of cake after that. 41-yard touchdown. Notre Dame leads 7-0. Later in the quarter, Jay Sean Corbin makes a statement in prime time, just making the defense look silly. Juking everybody out in so long, Corbin's gone 89 yards to the house, and it's 7-7. But a firing Irish up three until Jordan Davis hooks up with Ja'Kai Douglas with a heave. 60-yard score early in the third quarter. It's now 20-17. With three touchdowns in the game already, how about four for Cohn? Kyron Williams in motion makes the defense miss badly. What a move. He's in for six. 31-20 fighting Irish. Cone with 366 yards, four touchdowns, and a pick in this game. Well, this one goes into overtime, a thriller of a game. Notre Dame has the late game fireworks. Jonathan Dorr, 41 yard field goal attempt is through. Notre Dame pulls out a crazy win, 41 38. For a 7th ranked Indiana, 17th ranked Indiana, the results aren't what they were looking for to open the campaign. It was a game that IU couldn't get much going at all as number 18 Iowa's defense torched the Hoosiers. Riley Moss knew where to be at all times, returning two pick sixes for 85 yards for the Hawkeyes. Michael Penix Jr. had a had a rough night to for, or he had a free night to forget rather. Under center for IU, throwing 156 yards, three interceptions, completing 14 of his 31 passes. It also didn't help that Iowa showed out in the first half, scoring 31 of his 34 points in the first two quarters. Head coach Tom Allen afterwards was definitely not pleased. You got to play high level football right out of the gate against a team like this. And, and we did not. And uh, when you don't, this is what happens. And so um, just very frustrating, disappointing, but uh, it's a long, long season. So it's not going to, one game does not define us. Either way, we knew we had to line up again next week, regardless. The Hoosiers line up with Idaho September 11th, and that one is slated for 730. With this loss to Iowa, this is the first time IU has lost its opening game since 2017. We jump ship to Purdue now, where most of the jitters are gone now, starting its campaign on a positive note last night. Bullemakers are a ve were on a very messy evening, managed to pull out a win over Oregon State 30-21. to Jake Plummer had himself an impressive output, racking up 313 yards and two touchdowns completing 29 of 41 pass attempts. Plummer's connection with David Bell and Payne Durham was clearly evident. Bell had eight catches for 134 yards, while Durham had seven receptions, 120 yards, and two touchdowns. After a week one win, players are excited to snatch that first win, but some improvements will be needed. I think maybe just, just sitting in the pocket a little bit more, and I think maybe a couple of times I went to the check down a little bit too quick. But um, just being able to sit there and uh, be a little bit tougher in there. Good first first start, I think. You know, Our rush defense was pretty good, I thought, and we made the pass. That was kind of the game plan. I felt like we were pretty good on the edges and up front, and uh, I feel like we've improved a lot. So I, I, you know, uh, I, think, I think it was a good first start. The Boilermakers head into week two on the road against the University of Connecticut September 11th at three. We turn our focus now to women's soccer where Purdue Fort Wayne traveled to Ball State. The Dons weren't in mu more, much of an answer to Ball State. The Cardinals led 1-0 at the half and relish off a 3-1 win Sunday afternoon. So Green Hangle scored the only goal for PFW on a penalty kick in the 47th minute. Purdue Fort Wayne put up just five shots in the match compared to Ball State's 28 and 13 of those were on goal. PFW will have the next few days off before returning to the field September 10th against Chicago State. We'll wrap things up with some Fort Wayne Tin Caps baseball.